All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this Committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the Committee. Today, we have Council Members Gibson, Barron, Constantinides, King, Kuhl, Lansman, Levin, Reynoso, Torres, Gredenchik, Diaz, and Rivera. I want to thank members, I want to thank Council Member Levin for filling in while Chair Moya is away and Chair Adams and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting on applications referred out of our subcommittees. We will vote to approve pre-considers LUs 246 and 247, the 11-1435th Street Avenue rezoning for property in Council Member Van Bramer's district in Queens. The actions are a rezoning from an R5 zoning district to an R6A zoning district with a commercial overlay and a zoning text amendment to apply MIH option one and two to the rezoning areas. Approvals will facilitate the development of an eight-story mixed-use building with approximately 74 dwelling units, of which 22 units will be affordable under MIH. The application has selected, the applicant has selected MIH option two, but has committed to reaching deeper affordability than, in, than is required by the option. We will vote to modify pre-considers LUs 244 and 245, the Viority Boys and Girls Club rezoning for property in Council Member Constantinides District in Queens. These are applications for a zoning map change from R7A and R6B to R7X, and a zoning text amendment to apply MIH option two to the rezoning area. These actions will facilitate the development of a new residential building and a community facility, which would include approximately 112 units of approximately 34 would, approximately, of which approximately 34 would be affordable under MIH option two. The community facility building would front on 30th Road and house a new space for the Viority Boys and Girls Club, including a new swimming pool and basketball court. Our modification will be to add MIH option one to the zoning tax amendment since the rezoning area is larger than just the development site. We will vote to modify pre-considers LUs 248 and 249, the 3901 9th Avenue rezoning for property in Council Member Menchaca's district in Brooklyn. The actions are a rezoning for MIH for M1-2 to R7A slash C2-4 and a related zoning tax amendment to establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area on the rezoning area with MIH option one and two. These actions will facilitate the development of, of a six-story mixed-use building with ground floor commercial space and approximately 40 housing units. Our modification will be removed, our modification will be to remove option two. Our next vote is on LUs 214 and 215, the 110 East 16th Street Special Permit application for property in Council Member Rivera's district in Manhattan. The applicant seeks two zoning special permits to develop a new 21-story mixed-use development on property that is part of a larger zoning lot, including properties occupied by an, individu an individual landmark and theatrical school. The proposed new buildings would use, floor, would use floor area generated by these two properties, and the funds received by these institutions would enhance their pres preservation, including a continuing maintenance program for the landmark. The first special permit pursuant to section 74-711 would modify the building's envelope restrictions, allowing the new building to use the transferred floor area. The second special permit is to allow for an automated parking facility with a maximum capacity of 23 accessory parking spaces. We will vote to approve the bulk special permit, but we will be modifying the application for the automated parking garage to reduce its capacity from 23 to 18 in this transit-rich neighborhood of Union Square. We will vote to modify LUs 235 through 237, the 69-02 Queens Boulevard rezoning for property in Council Member Holden's district in Queens. The applicant applied for zoning map amendment to change the rezoning area from M1-1 to R7X with a C2-3 commercial overlay and a zoning tax amendment which would apply MIH option two to the rezoning area. The applicant also applied for a general large scale special permit to modify the maximum building height and, and a number of stories of the new buildings. These actions were intended to facilitate the development of two mixed-use buildings, one with 14 stories and one with 17 stories. We are modifying a special permit to reduce the height of the toilet building from 17 stories to 15 stories and capping its height at approximately 161 feet. 
A modification will eliminate the height waiver for the shorter of the two buildings so that it cannot exceed the height that will be allowed under the applicable zoning. With these reductions, the proposed development will continue to provide housing, but would be more aligned with the neighborhood character. In addition, because the area has an enormous need for school seats, Council Member Holden encouraged the applicant to consult with the School Construction Authority about incorporating a school into the project. As a result, a much needed elementary school will be provided on the development site to be acquired by the SCA, which is a huge win for this area. We will vote to approve the OUs 221 and 222, the Hunters Point South Test Exemption and UDAP applications. The property is in the property that is the subject of the tax exemption is located at 52-03 Center Boulevard, also known as Parcel C, the North Tower in the Long Island City neighborhood of Councilmember Van Bremer's district in Queens. The new tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law would be for a period of 40 years. The project, which will provide rental housing for, the, for low income families, received UDAP approval in 2008. It will consist of one residential building totaling 855,541 square feet with 8,071 8, square feet of commercial space. LUS 222 is an application to modify the UDAP approval previously granted in 2008 to reflect the addition of two new 80,000 square feet SCA schools to the overall Hunters Point South Plan. Pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law, HPD 6 UDAP, designation for property located at 2nd Street, 54 02 2nd Street and 52-50 2nd Street in the Long Island City neighborhood of Queens in order to accommodate the inclusion of the new schools to the project and lower AMIs for residents. Under the proposed project, the city will still sell the disposition area for the construction of approximately 16 buildings containing a total of approximately 4,076 units. However, under disapproval, families with much lower incomes will be reached than under the prior approval, including households with incomes of 30% of AMI. LUs 226, 227, 228, and 229, Sunset Park 1 through 4, related to several blocks and lots containing 39 municipal dwellings in Council Member Menchaca's district in Brooklyn or providing rental housing for low-income families. In 2017, the council approved a 30-year tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law, which coincided with the 30-year terms of the regulatory agreement. HPD and the new owners will amend the regulatory agreement to change the restriction period from 30 to 40 years, and accordingly, HPD is requesting that the tax exemption be extended from 30 to 40 years. We will vote to approve OUs 223, the Hopkins Park Place application for property located in 1612 Park Place and 416 Thomas Boylan Street in, Bro in Brownsville neighborhood of Council Member Apri Samuels District in Brooklyn. This is an application to modify the U UDAP designation and disposition pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law that was approved in 2009. The proposed amendment to the project summary will allow HPD to place the entire land debt and the construction loan in one mortgage, secured against the property owned by the cooperative, the cooperative corporation. This will benefit the individual co-op owners because upon completion of the construction, the debt will no longer be allocated among the individual cooperative units. The sponsor of this project, Habitat for Humanity, Latent Thomas Boylan Street Housing Development Corporation is constructing up to three buildings containing approximately 25 cooperative units for sale affordable to families with annual household incomes between 80% and 130% of AMI. LUS 234 is an application for a project and for a project site at 21 Arden Street in the Inwood section of Manhattan and Council Member Rodriguez District. HPD is seeking approval of the Urban Development Action Area Project and related actions pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and approval of a 40-year real property tax exemption pursuant to Section 577 of the Private Housing Finance Law. This building, which entered city ownership through in Ream foreclosure in 1991 and has been participating in the tenant interim lease program since 2004, has 12 occupied units and three vacant units. Once rehab, complete is, once rehab work is complete, the building will be conveyed to a cooperative HDFC formed by the building's tenants. Cooperative interest to occupied apartments will be sold to existing tenants for $2,500 per unit and vacant apartments will be sold with AMI's targets between 80 and 90% of the AMI. We will vote to approve LUs 209 through 213, the Jackson Avenue rezoning application for property in Council Member Bright Brainers District in Queens. 
HPD and DCAS are seeking approvals of the disposition of a negative easement on city-owned parcel block 267, lot 25, for the benefit of the two development sites in connection with the sale of development rights from the city-owned parcel and the disposition of a permanent easement on block 267, lot 25, for the purpose of light and air for the proposed developments. These actions would facilitate the, develop the development of two mixed-use buildings. One would have approximately 361 apartments, of which approximately 112 would be permanent affordable. The owner building, the other building, would have approximately 120 apartments, of which approximately 40 would be permanently affordable. For each development site, there is a related private application from 2701 Jackson Avenue, LLC, and 2632 Jackson Avenue, LLC, for special permit to modify the street wall location and setback provisions of the zoning resolution. There is also one application for a special permit to allow a 91-space parking, a public parking garage. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? Chair Kalos, you have a comment? Okay. All right. I will now call a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and the local council members to approve LUs 221, 222, 226, 227, 228, 229, 233, 234, 246, 247, and 209 through 213. To approve the modifications that have been described, LUs 214, 215, 248, 249, 244, 245, 235 through 237. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. Chair Salamanca. Aye, I know. Kalos. Aye, I know. Gibson. Aye. Barron. Yes. Permission to explain my vote? Council Member Barron to explain her vote. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm voting aye on all with the exception of land use 209 through 213, which is going to construct two towers and has what I think is inappropriate number of housing at so-called affordable rates. It's less than 30% in each of the two towers that's going to be constructed. And also on LU 235 through 237 and the accompanying resolutions for basically the same reasons and housing that will be at 75% market rate. Thank you. King. I don't know. Constantinidis. I don't know. Ku. I don't know. I need help. Lanceman. I. Levin. I don't know. Reynoso. I don't know. Torres. Gordenchik. I. Diaz. Nico. Rivera. All items of today's land use agenda have been adopted by a vote of 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with the exceptions of land use items 209 through 213 and 235 through 237, which are adopted by the committee 13 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. I will leave the roll open for 15 minutes. <laughs> 